revenge on his mind. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this, well, is a, this is a match where I feel like you have a Wesley, you're such a great practical player at this time control. He doesn't get too wounded when he loses. He plays so quickly in every position. Um, and then the hyper precision of Fabiano, and sometimes he'll just blow you off the board in the opening. It's a real clash of styles. And including that, Jen, just everything you said, the inc incredible opening prep of uh, Fabiano. I mean, you know, I don't know whose prep is as good. I mean, if Vichy at the time, he was world champion of phenomenal prep. Magnus, his prep could be better. Let's put it that way. I've the, improved. Fabiano's I've improved opening prep can just wipe a player off the board. So uh, Wesley is certainly aware of that as they've played each other quite a number of times and they're underway. That's before right. The board. And it's not just the prep, obviously. Fabiano known as potentially the best calculator in the world and also um, just such fine technique when he's in form. So sure. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated to see who gets the upper hand on this match. You guys voted for Wesley in your predictions. I voted for Fabi, but this first game is going to tell us a lot about Fabi's form. This is a pick. Exactly. Come on, let's be real. These two are so close in strength. Well, at least if you combine strength, if you will. I think Wesley does have the nod in rapid chess. But wait, what are we seeing here? We're seeing I've some seen serious F3? preparation. Like, what on earth Allowing is going on? Queen H4 check. Huda, Huda, what? I mean, well, there's knight takes g3. So queen h4, I can't do, right? There's knight g3. Wait, no. Why that, not? That looks like a, a basic tactical. So queen h4, g3, knight takes g3, queen f2, there's knight f5. Right. Yes. So but what's wrong with this? Fabi gone deep, deep, deep you gotta go deep into the position How? and said, I'm going to sacrifice a pawn, yeah, a... an exchange, mm. and I'm going to compromise my king <laughs> trap your queen. Like, well, clearly what? in modern chess, that must be good. <laughs> he must be winning. I mean, okay. Of course, I say that facetiously. Queen h4 looks like an absolute boss move. Again, it's, this is worse than LeVon's a5, a4, where you would tell your student not to play that way. This is, what are you, crazy? What are you just blundering pieces? You don't know a standard tactical idea? What well, is well, this about? And he, and he has to do it, in fact. It's not yeah, even like he has a choice. Exactly, let me just say, set the stage on that one. There's no choice here. The knight is under attack. You don't move the knight, I take it. End of story. If you do move the knight, well, the knight gets trapped immediately after h4 under even much worse circumstances. So Wesley is, is just, taking a deep breath as he's saying, okay, my opponent has, has prepared some, uh, some preparation for me, but nonetheless, I have to play queen h4 check. And he's done it, and they've gone right down this path, Rimmerall's but instead path, after indeed. dropping the exchange uh, and playing king f2, my original thought, uh, actually Fabi played queen f2, and guys, um, this is some deep stuff. Well, I know that when we had Alejandro on the air most recently in the Karen's Cup, he talked a lot about prep with Fabi and prep with other great players and the difference between Stockfish evals and Alpha Zero evaluations and about how at the top level, or Lila rather, is that the one that the top players can use, the open source variation, not the one created by Google, Alpha Zero, and that a lot of the times the top players were trying to search for inconsistencies between those two evaluations. And I gotta wonder if this is one of those examples. We can see by our analysis bar, which is Stockfish, by the way, that they don't like this position at all for white. I have a, right. a gut feeling that um, Bobby found some kind of discrepancy there, and that's what we're seeing on the board. I okay. love chess. I love fairy tale chess. I love exceptions to the rule. I love sacrificing pieces for compensation. All, all well and good. But you better must, you must analyze this very deeply get there and we can see that this is some deep stuff that Fabi has analyzed Wesley knows it one of the things about Fabi you guys know it's not only that he's so well prepared is that his novelty is usually a bite oh. it's like he just makes oh I just make a different move he makes moves and you go you can do that what mm -hmm. and right now that's what's happening in this game who would have conceived of f3 as a great move in that position. F3, clearly a novelty. 
And yeah. the more this position goes, the more it's looking like White has very interesting play. That's right. Right, Marius, it's funny because Varujan in the truck often tells us when moves are novelty and sometimes we're surprised we don't know the specific theory in a line. This one, we, I think we figured out that was a novelty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I mean, kudos, seriously, uh, kudos to Fabi because back in the day, you know, we would have these imaginative, you know, rampages. And, you know, I got to tell you, If you reached this position, you know, 20 years, 40 years ago, without the aid of computers, you'd give up the ghost. You say, ah, "It's an interesting sacrifice. Probably doesn't work. Let's see some. Let, let's see the mainline stuff." But Fabi has obviously put this into his chess engine. He's worked out some remarkable uh, uh, motifs, and you can just see he's playing. A la tempo. In other words, I'm telling you, he's had this board at home in his home laboratory. And you're right, Maurice, you talk about bite. This is remarkable stuff, like really As impressive. Really astonishing. I and mean, I'm talking, I, I would like to save this for the world championship match. <laughs> and he's playing and he's playing instantly, guys. What do you mean? Clutch chess game one? Come on, this is where it needs to be done. <laughs> but seriously, guys, um, Bishop G5. And he didn't uh, even take the exchange back. Wesley said, you can have my rook. And Fabi said, I don't want your rook. I'm going to put my king on the same file as your queen and rook. An instantaneous move, bullet chess mode from Fabiano. We know that this is something that Fabi likes to do to psychologically um, damage his opponents. This is stressful now for Wesley, seeing his opponent bang down all these moves. When he went 7-0 in the Sinkfield Cup, he said that after one of the games. I wanted to play immediately because I knew that it would rattle my opponent. And, and indeed, if you look at the clock, he started with 10 minutes. He's wow. 11 minutes. Wow. They've already played 14, how many moves? 18 moves. KF2, wow. he's gotten all the increment. He's basically just making moves a la tempo. Bing, bing, bing. And it is really who we know is super fast and is sitting now at 542 out the opening. Fabi would double his time this quickly. And finally, Wesley has played a move that wasn't in Fabi's <laughs> Fabi's actually before. paused to remember, because this is off his beaten track. I'm yeah. sure, I'm absolutely sure that Fabi was prepared for B6 and Bishop B7. Any natural move like that, Fabi had his answer ready. C D5 takes C4 has actually caused him to what about, what about after Bishop takes C4 with move B5, just attempting to get some quick development in? I guess the problem is after Bishop B5, Bishop B7, then you can take on F6. And, um, suddenly my rook takes that's the idea. Be careful, uh, Bishop. But but those you, you don't want to turn this game around going for material. Mm -hmm. okay? Okay, okay, so after Bishop B7, would you do something else? Well, Bishop B7, the, the threat, I mean, I, I don't know what else to do, but Bishop F6, maybe there's a, oh, he's taking on D4 immediately. I think he's trying to make sure White knows that the king is weak for the long term. I, you know what I like about your B5? It reminds me of a game, Anand Mamadirov. Is it Zagreb? By the way, Maurice, we have something and very he has similar. He's yes, taking, he has taken he's to play taking B5. on D4 and then remember, B5. That's the same thing Mamadirov did in a game where he was getting killed by Anand. We were like, ooh, Anna, Anna, Anna. Mm -hmm. And then Mamadirov went, you know what? I'm just gonna play B5. It's a sack, and I'm gonna go for play. Well, yeah, I, I got the idea because um, Yaz was saying B6, and it's like, well, time is of sense, guys. That's right. Let's get it going. Chop, chop. Right. No just simple development. And I think Wesley was happy to see this happen because now he gets his play against the king on F2. And look at Fabi now slow down dramatically. The other game has begun, by the way. We have uh -huh. similar.
similar type position to the first game in terms of its slowness of pace, but some more bite in that one as well. Uh, that's the, the that's other game. game. Sorry. Yeah, this is the game. And it looks like Levon is getting another decent position with the black pieces uh, yeah. against these against this setup. Yeah, Levon looks okay. For sure. All right. Uh, sorry, I just, I mean, I'm, we're witnessing this incredible world-class preparation from uh, Fabiana. Now I want to know the outcome. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> was but it good or was it bad? What's going on? I mean, wow. I love uh, B5. B5. Sorry, I love B5. B5. I, uh, I absolutely love the movie. And now right. uh, Fabiano hasn't hasn't accepted this move yet, though. He has not played Bishop takes B5 yet. He's thinking about the possibility of saying, no, I'll just, uh, I'll just drop my, my bishop back. Um, what's going on in the line, by the way? I, uh, oh, I was I was just going to look at the same thing. Thank you, Yaz. Yes, just the most straightforward line. Mm -hmm. Right. I always, seriously, it, it's been a long, mm, uh, I always like to look at, uh, the captures first, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's just a second nature for me. Like, if I can determine from a series of force captures an outcome, that's that's terrific. Here, I don't know what is going on. I suspect that Black has at least a draw. Draw? So <laughs> I don't want to do this line. This what, looks, like, this looks one, like death. Right? You're going to lose your bishop on, on d7, and you're going to be down two pawns with a fully exposed king. This After position queen is D4, four, yeah, gotcha. Because he can't play, he can he can't play king f1. Right. You're going to push it to a dark square control. eventually. Yeah. I can't play king f1 because of this. Work f8 jack, right? Yes, precisely. Mm -hmm. That that's a killer. And then I got to walk into. Whoops. Checkmate. So okay, so it does mean that uh, if. Fabi takes the pawn on b5 and is met by bishop d7, then this threat is severe. Rook takes So you'd have to take on f6. Well, again, I kind of just like to... I mean, the rook still isn't going anywhere. Like, I could drop back and say, okay, now I'm waiting for you to play, you know. Okay, so I play it for cafe. Yeah, and let's see. Again, I just... Uh, I've got that covered. As long as this, uh, the moment you play e5, then you're looking to escape with the rook. Where rank. do you have it covered? Takes on f3, rook takes three, or something takes f3, and then just take again? Takes f3, takes again. Okay, you just give up the exchange. That is good. True, that that looks really good for, for black. So that does mean, unfor how unfortunate. Okay, which brings us back to the current situation. Let's defer. Let's decline to um, capture on b5. Okay, so essentially it means that you did win the b5 move for, for free. Like that's a really big tempo, right? Mm -hmm. And rook f8 again. Rook f8. I really want to make this work. If you crash through once more on f3, we're crashing. Three, you're. <laughs> You're we are crashing the vehicle, and it's going to be a tank <laughs> when it hits uh, F3. Uh, which way do you capture by Rook way? takes. Rook, Rook takes. Okay, just a sec. We're not Rook giving you a chance takes. to take on F6. Okay, so there's a pawn going to be hanging, so I could... Well, here, I'll tell you, just what's, what's going through my mind is some position where I get two pieces, but I just saw... Mm. Oops! Mm. Uh, that's hurtful, and probably you also have other moves that are equally hurtful. Oh, here I have Fabi, six. Fabi did capture uh, on b5 after, after a long a, thing. Yeah. And then, and then check this out. He, of course, bishop b7 came instantly, and he's back to a long thing. And this is the worst feeling. I don't know if it's happened to you, Yaz. It's happened to me. And you know what would happen to me again? One Victor Korchnoi. Ouch. I blitzed out my prep against him. Just blitzed it out. Bing, right. bing, 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 bing. And Victor sat there. He walked into it. He, went, mm -mm. he walks completely into my preparation.
suspicion. <laughs> and then he freezes. And I'm like, ooh, I got all this beautiful time on the lead. I got my prep on the board. And he sits there and he thinks and he thinks and he thinks. And then he plays a move I've never seen before. And mm, the big, the idea wasn't prepared for. The big edge on the clock just went doop, 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 <laughs> and evaporated just oh. like that. And then he proceeded to outplay me and give me a lesson. It's like, young man, it's not about the oath. It's about who's the better player. Look at this position. We had 10.53 for Fabi when Wesley was down by wow. the less than six minute mark. And now they're basically even on the clock. I mean, that's remarkable. absolutely remarkable. Yeah, and you know, sometimes you just gotta tip your hat and say, Wesley, you know, like, look, Fabiana just caught Wesley. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, he just made some uh, fantastic opening preparation. And Wesley, like your story with Victor Korchnoi there, Wesley just rolled with the punches, said, I'm with you, I'm with you, I see that, I see that. And, and I'm sorry, after all this great prep, who do you like? Exactly. I like mm. black. I like black all day. <laughs> I'm looking prep at is the this? position and I'm saying, wait a minute. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not material down. Uh, I've got a fantastic, fantastic square on D5 in the center of the board. Knight on G1. You've got a, a weakness on F3 that's truly, you know, a big, big, big target. Uh, King this differential. is not well. King differential as well. And he's... He's decided he's got such a good position that it, we were talking about king differential. And he said, I'm going to play H5. Right. Really a nice move. I, I love this move because it basically says, hey, look, if you want to take on H5, give me a tempo on your queen, oh, expose no, your ugly. king. I, I agree. And if, you <laughs> want, and if you want to play G5 and allow me, you know, to come in and pay you some is it with knight to e3 or knight to f4 wow uh i'm telling you guys this feels like wesley has turned the tide completely no this and is we, yeah unless we i think white here needs to figure out a way to like trade pieces off the board because the pieces for black are just so much more powerful at this point in our king safety like if i could play rook c1 and queen c7 or something maybe i would feel a little bit more um relief in my position but you know, if I play G takes H5, you have knight takes H5 with tempo. He did. He did. At wow. least he did play. playing on the board. He actually took and played queen G4. How mm -hmm. can this be anything but fabulous for Wesley? Exactly. He this got that just... one sliver of a board on F3. Brutal no, when you actually use no. fabulous to determine, no. um, to describe um, Fabi's opponent's position. That's never fun, right? Because we usually use that adjective for Fabi. Right. Well, let's start with the obvious. Uh, the knight on h5 centralized itself with a check. Oh, knight yeah. f4 check. Played. Incredibly powerful knight in the middle of the board. By the way, I agree that the queen and rook's uh, power along the files are uh, limited now. And I start looking to, you know, uh, play a move like e5 uh, so that I could open up my queen, um, take this pawn, I, queen f6. You're trying to get into that like second rank. Another idea is just to play rook c8, try to play rook c2 check. If you start invading with your majors or your tanks on the second queen? row, or queen h7, queen, like yeah. Queen, queen, no, queen c7, same move, but right. queens mm -hmm. will be mate when it happens, like some kind of matutski. I, I really like that move as well, uh, that Maurice, because uh, it, it actually carries two really powerful punches. So you're threatening queen b6 with a double attack against mm -hmm. the bishop. And yes, I do want to capture the pawn on d4, <laughs> but also queen c2. So uh, this looks terrible. I mean, oh, and Wesley played the first move Your popped in my head, mm -hmm. which is like, you know, you just, you just want to get your queen in the game. By the way, e5, in my view, is also coming with also another, oh. I want to, I don't want to say deadly, but you know, there is a king. There is a and king. Fabiano Caruana, after having a Fabi devastating time advantage, 
Looks like he's he's now at still, but even. Is that even on the clock, basically? Three minutes and 18 seconds. He's got to yeah. save himself. Wow. Something awful. You prep like this, and the opponent just rolls with the punches, and now he's the one attacking. With the right. black pieces coming out of the match. By the way, Magnus did win a pawn in his game against LeBron. And we're looking at a position where his queen is slightly offside. It, it, but he is a pawn up. <laughs> he is a pawn up. Levon looking to trade even more pieces. Is Levon's knight just going to be better than the bishop? Mm -hmm. Fantastically interesting position. OK, well, definitely keep an eye on that. But I hear you loud and clear with this. Um, uh, sorry, let me find the game with Fabiana. I, I mean. It is so defeating when you get your prep on the board just as you've conceived it and your opponent refutes all your great <laughs> attempts. It's like, no! Uh, the most famous story that I absolutely love was a world championship match game between Peter Leko and Vladimir Kramnik. Vladimir Kramnik had prepared novelty for the marshal and Peter Leko fell right into the preparation and went right down the line that Kramnik had prepared. And Peter Leko was winning at the end of the preparation. <laughs> it was like the worst preparation ever. <laughs> and isn't that the origin story of the Marshall as well? That it was yes. it was worked out in the very first game with a loss? Right. Uh, Frank Marshall, he kept his novelty for over eight years. And We've been told there's a blunder alert. Uh oh. Well, 92, 92 is being uh, played. Oh. And what Bishop. a tactic! And what Bishop tactic. F3 yeah. will be winning. And he's and done it has it. been played. And it's it because now we have. My word. Now we just have what? 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 What discovery it's, is good here? Any Nike, discovery is good. Got any? Any? That's not good. <laughs> That's really my bad pick? news. But let's let's pick one. Oh my god. Where are you going to go? going to show up on F2. Okay, well. And actually, this is not even a game. And he's like Queen B3 check. He hasn't even picked one of the discoveries, guys. Oh um, no. As now, um, King to F2 is oh. the only escape score. Well, okay, E4 as well. But um, if King F2, let's see. Um, we could just even play something simple like Knight E2 check. Bishop ta yeah, King takes E2 and Queen B2 and just win all your pieces, right? Uh, just be a little careful. There's a queen takes g6 check, right? Okay, so we, oh, we have no, to take but your... Where am I going with my king? King d3, I lose a piece with check. Oh, that's terrible. Well, you could have also taken the bishop with check immediately and be up oh. a pawn. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's... And then ask that's... your king, where are you going? Because I can always <laughs> fix my position. I can always defend g6 at some point, but... Woof, look at this attack. And after King F2, there's probably also just some mate as well with like a discovered attack. Yep. So he did play King F2, by the way, so we'll find out. Is there a better move than Knight takes D2 that just leads to a mate? Like, I, I, I don't see like Knight A3 or something. I, I wouldn't be surprised, Jen. Oh, sorry, wh wh which move did you suggest? Um, like Knight D3 or Knight A3? Let's see. One of the double checks. I don't want to block my queen off. That's why I was thinking A3, but I still had access to like the E3 square and everything. I bet money um, he took money too. Well, he did play. I would have lost. Do, none of, yes, <laughs> he didn't took, do. He took but, on B5. I thought Wesley would play simple chess, but OK, simple chess indeed. He still took on B5. That's simple exactly. chess. Exactly. That's pretty simple too. Keeping, yes. keeping the pressure up. Um, King E1. King E1. King E1. Man. Now threatening to take on F4. Mm -hmm. Right, and again, take queen takes g6 is keeping white hopes alive. But black's actually up material here. That's how sick it is. I mean, you're not only, no. um, yes, you're not really? only ahead in oh, every no. piece being more powerful than your opponents, but you even have one extra pawn. Yeah, that, that, that must be music to your ears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you no, see the way I mean, Yasser evaluated oh. the position and just was like, OK, that means you're losing. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I win. The weak king and the better pieces. Yeah, just like, what? You mean you're down now? That was no. Checkmate and a pawn. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys were listing all the goodness that Black's position held. Oh, and by the way, yeah, sir, you're a pawn up as well. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was all Yasser needed to end. That ends the whole evaluation. We don't need to talk yeah. about it anymore. Well, 
this, uh, by Sign the way, the other game is, is very much drawing as Levon is, is taking over some of the space in that position. Looks like he should be fine, but we don't really care about that one as it hasn't been that sharp. Right here, we have Kane on hand. What an, a counterattack on Queen to B2. Oof, that's Look a at killer that. move. Fabiano is devastated. Yes. And wow. he resigned that the game. So. Oh boy, I said that this match would be, that this match would be close and that this first game would give us a lot of insight into Fabi's.